<laughs> See, this is quality uh, footage uh, right here. Watch out for those idiots that slow down to 10 miles an hour prior to getting into the left-hand turn lane. That was a mouthful. So you guys know, um, yeah, that's going to be fun to put up on text on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> You guys know those idiots who slow all the way down to 10 miles an hour before getting into the left yes. turn lane? And yes. then they get, and then when they're in it, they're only like really half in it, so you kind of have to drive around them anyway. Well, you have to, like, yeah, and it's just not safe. Right. So it's no. not safe. You got to watch out for those guys when you're on the road, so stay safe out there, people. And if you are one of those people, don't do it. Don't do There's, it. You have a lane, turn lane, for a reason. Yes. It yes. exists. You realize that your car can maneuver at any other speed other than 10 miles an hour so it, it can yes. yes it can and here's another thing get prepared for your turn lane change before you have to turn and not right at the turn lane top tips with fortuna redux exactly top tips, fortuna redux top tip i'm peter i'm glad you brought this up because this is an actual pet peeve of mine oh i bet it is yeah it happens all the time yes all right guys th this might be related but I was driving my other my Mercedes the other day, and um, something weird happened. Wait, I, Andres, do you have a Mercedes? <laughs> I, no, seriously, I'm kind of worried about this because I went to turn left. My hand hit the switch, and these green lights started flashing at me, and I'm worried that oh, something is wrong. <laughs> that's horrible. Oh, yeah. oh you might as well ditch the car then. Yeah, it's not, it, it's it doesn't broken. work anymore. That's it, what I was I mean, of. it's like it leaks so much oil anyway that it, you should probably ditch it. <laughs> exactly. It's just uh, bad news bears for this. That is. Anyway, Joe, you had something, yes? Yes, in other news, there is uh, more recall news here for you guys oh. today. So the uh, 2013 to 2018 Dodge Ram 2500 and 3500 has been recalled. Oh, cool. The vehicles affected approximately 3,300 or 33,000 uh, models between 2013 and 2018. So not a terrible amount of them, right? but enough to be concerned about. Uh, the onboard steering Lincoln's jam nut may loosen, allowing one end of the drag links to separate, potentially causing loss of control and uh, increased risk of crash. That so, sounds incredibly dangerous. It is very incredibly dangerous. Either that, or it's like, it's a, it's a Ram, right? So it's like Ram mode? Yeah, you'll, you switch from Dodge to Ram. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's, what that, that's what that nut does, is it switches from yeah. Dodge to Ram. Um, so anyway, uh, if you go to the dealers, they'll check the linkage, replace the the, uh, the link, the nut, and uh, adjust the uh, sleeve for free. Yeah. So you can go do that. So I mean, I guess go in there and be like, hey, I saw this recall. Can you go check it out for me? And they probably should So do basically that. what you're saying is if you have a Dodge, mm -hmm. give it back. Yes. That's what I'm basically saying. Interesting news for you guys this week. Well, we're going to have a segment we haven't had in a long time. It is time for... This week in Europe. Merci. Welcome to This Week in Merci. Europe. So, when you think of the country Switzerland, like so, like, you don't think of the sport car industry or the sport car culture. I do not. No, you don't. Well, you know what? After you see this car I have for you here, your mind isn't going to change. Reminds me of that German thing that was out in the 60s or whatever. Yes, the 1955 BMW i which this company said this car, the Microlino, is a descendant of, in a sense. Hmm. Um, so it is a all-electric car powered by a 20.5 horsepower. A whole electric. 20 horsepower. 0.5. Wow. It can hold two passengers and has a 300 liter trunk. Wow. It can fit a lot of sodas in there. It can there. fit a lot of soda in that trunk. Yeah. Except that soda is heavily taxed in Switzerland, so I don't think you want to be doing that. Wow. Now, what happens if you park too close to the back of your garage? How do you get out? Um, is there a reverse gear? I hope. <laughs> but if it's a descendant of the original BMW, I would say maybe not. That would be hilarious if there's not. So I like I like, I like how reverse gear. Yeah. I hope is the answer to that one. <laughs> well, is it? Um, it is fourteen thousand dollars brand new. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean it's what you would expect for such a. It is uh, average, I guess, car. car money of that type. Mm -hmm. It is technically not a car though. It is what is called a quadricycle. So what you're saying is I'm going to spend fourteen thousand dollars on a quadricycle. Yes. Interesting. I kind of want one. Not gonna lie. 
In other news, a man from London was fined 450 pounds for a provocative fart in front of police officers. I didn't know you could get fined for that. I, I didn't know breaking wind was illegal. A provocative fart, you say? Yes, a provocative fart. It says here that officers said the man had been sitting on a park bench before getting up. He looked at them and let go a, quote, massive intestinal wind, apparently, with full intent. <laughs> so we... What are you in for? <laughs> Assault with the deadly fart. <laughs> uh, I uh, didn't know that was a thing, actually. Me neither. I feel I feel bad for this. Come man. to America. You yes, don't get we don't get fined for farting part. here. We can fart however we please, and nobody will get fined for it. That's true. Well, there you have it, folks. Don't fart in London, and we will see you next week. <laughs>